What's up everyone? So back in Ireland and back to this weather really doesn't compare to where we left off last weekend. <laughs> So that was the pool party my friend was organizing. The uh, event is called Love Brunch. They're on in Dublin as well. Highly recommend you check them out. They're like daytime events, which I'm all for. Was a very sick day. Because remember, you gotta have a life outside the gym. Sometimes. Anyways, as much as I love that holiday, as relaxing as I found it, you know, I'm coming back fully recharged and ready to attack the next month. Because uh, I won't be going away. I'm going to Texas and LA in about just over three weeks, so you know, I, I have the next month to completely like focus on training and a few projects, my business, coaching, LFJ and wear everything, right? So it's always good to, you know, ha have some time at home to just focus on your shit, basically. So I'm gonna head to the gym in a bit. I uh, woke up today not too hungry, so I might just hit a fasted session. I'm still doing an upper lower split, and then come Monday, today's Sunday, I am going to resume my legs push pull split. If you were to sum up my nutrition, it's basically like hit your macros wherever you feel. Like some days I'll do intermittent fasting, I'll always probably eat before lower body day. I like having something in my stomach before I hit legs and stuff. But yeah, that's literally it. I, I just focus on hitting my macros in the most convenient way possible. You know, don't let your diet take over your life. Make it as easy as possible as you can while still getting sick results. So let's get today started. Let's go. We need more regular content, Rob. Ha ha. Gotta keep in mind, right? Sarah is now a YouTuber too, so half the vlogs are on her channel because we weren't gonna vlog the same day as it would literally be the same day. So we actually did vlog like nearly every day over in Portugal because it's hella fun to do that. Vlogging is fun for the whole family. Also, one other thing, Irish football match is on at 2 p.m. today. Now I know in the past I said I don't care about football, but my God, the hype is real. After that Irish Italy match, that goal in the last couple of minutes, I'm hooked. I swear to God, I, I genuinely cannot wait for the match today. There is also beef between Ireland and France because the Thierry Henry handball incident a couple of years ago, we haven't forgot. But I cannot wait. I'm gonna like cook a big meal, you know, stick on that. And yeah, like I, I, I never thought I'd get this caught up in the Euros. I actually said on camera a few videos ago that I don't really care. But yeah, now I care. I guess it's cause like I'm a bit of a patriot to be honest. Like, you know, I do love my country. I love the Irish people and stuff like that. Um, so whenever the nation are like, you know, doing well, they're playing a game, I, I have to support. Comment down below, are you a football fan or rugby fan? What do you prefer? All right, so pre-workout, I'm gonna go for some my pre with some added beta alanine. And then during my workout, I'm gonna have some BCAAs because I'm fasted and it may, it might be beneficial. One thing about taking pre-workout and an empty stomach, hits you hard, bro. Hits you real hard. Sarah, working on her next vlog. I did the first one for her, but you know, now I'm making her kind of learn and do it on her own, and that is just the best way. You know, Google, YouTube tutorials, and then just practice, 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 do it yourself. 
All right, so that was like the world's worst gym footage. I went in and it was like the most packed I've ever seen it. I was lucky to even get a machine. You know, I wanted to uh, do some more actual free weights, compound exercises, but everyone's obviously going to the gym before the Ireland match kicks off, fair enough. So today I'm just trying to get that frequency just to say that I've hit everything twice this week. Because obviously with traveling and stuff, training was thrown off a bit. So I actually started off with squats, then I went on to a chest pushing movement. So that was machine press. I wanted to do bench, but it was taken. Then I went on to some rowing movements and did a shoulder movement. So that was kind of like my upper body workout along with isolation movements too. And then of course the squats to just kind of stimulate the legs. But anyways, look, back on my proper program tomorrow. Monday, fantastic. So I'm just gonna go get something to eat now, break my fast, and then watch the Ireland match, I'm pumped. Also, you know you're still in holiday fluff mode when you're wearing a long sleeve in the gym on upper body day, but it's kind of like an athletic fit, uh, it's from my protein, so it's all good, it's all good. All right, so post-workout meal about to go down. I'm gonna make a turkey burger. I uh, just threw a load of veg in there. It's like mushrooms, spring onions, peppers, tomatoes. And then I'm making one of these thins, uh, 97 calories, 100% whole meal. Gonna put some crunchy salad on top of that as well. That's the cooking spray I use, by the way. And then this really manly packet of crisps. Now, but seriously, these taste great. Uh, and there's like a good bit of protein in them as well. Personally, you know, I love watching vlogs, obviously for workout advice and just, you know, general life advice, whatever it is. But I think the recipes are hugely helpful as well. Like uh, Travis S, does anyone watch him? You know, he's got some crazy good recipes that when I see, I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And you know what I always say, learning how to cook, cook your own meals, get on top of your nutrition, make healthy food taste good. That is a huge, huge part of getting in shape. Seriously though, how good does that look? And these are two good macro-friendly toppings, lighter than light mayo and some French's mustard. And of course, you gotta Snapchat your meals. Snapchat is Rob Lip. If you didn't Snapchat your meal, you know, did, did it really happen? All right, let's do a little taste test. That looks proper. Mmm, so good. I should open up a restaurant. Now, for a bit of air cows while I finish off these chips. Or crisps. Whatever, you, whatever country you come from, whatever, whatever you call them, you know. Oh my god. Four minutes in, one goal up. I reckon if you're a football fan or not, you are watching now. Oh my god. And of course, I'm having one of these bad boys while watching. It is the kind of PB2, the powdered peanut butter. It's like a protein bar, Greek yogurt, berries, chia seeds. Unbelievable. All right, halftime, Ireland are one nil up. And you know, I'm not even gonna pretend I'm like a football analysis, but like that was the most exciting bit of football I've ever watched. There's literally not a dull moment. There's shots being taken every second. And so far, Darren Randolph, uh, the goalkeeper for Ireland is in my opinion, like the man of the match so far and that's where he's saying something saying a goalie is the man of the match like he has just been putting in so much good saves this is amazing all right so quick halftime snack it is going to be some protein pancakes uh, i got this recipe off amanda bucci it's really simple very low carb as well it's literally two eggs one egg white some casein i use that instead of whey because it just bakes better and then blueberries and baking powder so like what three four ingredients Doesn't look the best, but got the job done. You know I'm all about that one stack life. Just so much quicker, more convenient than loads of little small ones on top of each other. Dreams over. French, France. They came, scored like two goals within a few minutes of each other. Final score, 2-1 to France. As my journey as a football fanatic over, I am so disappointed. France Sir Fry checking in. Have you seen the macros on prawns? That shit is pure protein. We're gonna add some noodles to this quickly too. Yes, check out that stir fry porn. All right, so I just realized it's Sunday. It's like, where does the week go? Like, do you ever find yourself, you're just like, why isn't there more hours in the day? And it, it's so crazy for me to think about, like when I used to work like for someone else, uh, you know, your typical nine to six office job, 
the hours would go so slow, never mind the week. Like you'd be like, oh my God, it's only Wednesday. How is that possible? And you're wishing for the weekend every single week. And that's crazy. You're literally, you're literally wishing your life away. Um, which I, I think is messed up when you actually think about it. Uh, but now it's literally the opposite. I want like the week to slow down. I want more hours in, in the day because the week goes so fast. Like it, it, it's crazy. That's how it should be. So anyways, right, time to go in and do some office shit. All right, so Sunday evening, my website just decided to stop working on me. So I just spent the last couple of hours sorting that out. And I was just like, I saw all these like canceled transactions that couldn't go through and I was just like, oh, are you serious? Um, so when I fixed the problem, I was so happy and I was so relieved. I just put it like a sale on my Snapchat for LF Gymwear. Add me on Snapchat. If not, you're missing out. But uh, yeah, just to say LF Gymwear was offline while I was in Portugal because obviously I couldn't do deliveries, but it is back online now. I'd love for you guys to check it out as always. Like when I even just look at my tag photos on Instagram, everyone is just so happy with their order. And uh, like, I'm so, you know, proud of like the quality, the price, everything. Um, so yeah, obviously it's first link in the bio, but that is what my evening entails right now. All right, so this is something I just thought I'd show you. It's something you should be doing. It's just Google Analytics. So as you can see, you know, there's 40 people on my site right now. Obviously, check out and uh, LF Gymwear is the top active pages. Uh, we go down here, we can see the locations. Obviously, there's a, there's a few in America and then obviously Europe. Uh, you can't even see that. That's like Ireland and the UK. And then we got some more around like, more around like Germany and France. So this is something that, it's Google Analytics. It's something that I love. Um, I just find it really interesting. This is real time right now. And yeah, you can see five people just bought products. So it, it's all really cool. Another really cool thing is you have top social traffic, right? So usually that'll say Facebook, Instagram, but this time, since I put the discount code on Snapchat and I just said go to lipsatfitness.com, people are going straight there from Google. So that's what I kind of find interesting now, like this is pure Snapchat. So yeah, it all kind of like works in unison, uh, like all your social media accounts are what drive traffic to your site and you know, analytics is, kind of to check how they're, each one is performing. The analytics are really cool once you get uh, the hang of them. So that is me for this evening. I'm also gonna get back to all clients because my clients check in on a Saturday or a Sunday. And that is today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep it real.